So we're going to make a flag. You would start by going to your modeling menu, going to polygons, and making a flagpole. There is a ratio to flagpole height based on the size of the flag, and it does vary by country. So look it up one day if you're interested. Once you make the flagpole, you're going to just make the flag. We'll make it out of a polygon plane. And then rotate it. And just move it up. At this point, I'm going to turn on 6 just to make sure that I do have the normal side facing. And I'll rotate around just to make sure that it's touching the flagpole because sometimes I miss that. And I'll hit my E shortcut key just to rotate that and make sure it's flat. Remember, W is move. So once we're done that, we can put a material on it. And shrink it because that's huge, so that'll take a while for the wind to blow. And we could put a material by going to the hyper shade and going ahead and creating a new blin. So create material and blin. Click on color, click on your file, and then over here we'll load the flag. We picked the Maryland flag. Not ghost I guess we could do Ghostbusters, but that'd probably get us banned from YouTube. So from that, I'll click on this, assign material, and I could pick blin 1 or blin 3 because I've used both. And even though this is on there, we want to adjust the UVs. We'll do that after we make the cloth because apparently that can alter it. So this object won't move because it has no subdivisions. To get there, we can either go to polyplane under attribute editor, attribute editor or go to the channel box and click on polyplane here, whichever workflow you like the most. I find between 20 and 30 work, so today I'll put on 25. Because this is a flag, you could just make them square boxes instead too. It doesn't need to be an even number. So go ahead and add cloth by going to FX and then end cloth. Hit OK, create new sol solver and apply. Now when you play this, it will just fall unless you put a constraint on it. You can do that by going to vertex, selecting your vertices on your edge. I can't see them right now, so I'm going to hit 4 on my keyboard. Good, I selected them. And then going to Constraint, Transform Constraint. I can adjust the UV on this by going back to my modeling menu, going to UV and going to UV Editor. If I hit Move, I can select the objects and using my shortcut keys, so rotate and scale will still work, so rotate is E, I can rotate this so it fits on the flag, and I might have just made our flag upside down yet again, but we'll see. And then R for scale, so I can just scale this up, if I'm a little off, rotate it one more time and just get this framed on that image. It should readjust, so I can go back into object mode, and then hit play, and I should have a flag. Now a few things, it clips through my flagpole, so I'd go back to the beginning, maybe even shrink this flagpole down because it's kind of ugly. And I'd add a collision. I can add the collision either by going 
back to my FX menu. And then going to end cloth, get passive collider. Or under the FX tab, I can just hit the passive collider option. Now when I play, it should fall and not hit it. I also want to look at my object and start adjusting the wind. I can do the wind field generator in here, and that will just adjust the wind that's already on the scene. What you really want to do is select your nucleus, and since mine won't let me click it, I'll go to Window, Outliner, and then select my nucleus. From here, I have my gravity and I have my wind speed. However, I also have something called wind direction. So right now, my wind is kind of blowing and it's blowing it the wrong way. I could change my direction, but I actually found when I tried this before that adding a negative to it, a negative wind speed, solved most of my problems. So let's see if it'll... And today it's not doing it, so go ahead and adjust your wind until it works in your scene. 